Greetings, reggae fans. My name is M. Peggy Quattro, reggae pioneer, historian, writer, and founder and publisher of Reggae Report magazine. From 1983 to 1998, Reggae Report was the world's number one source for reggae news and information. Reggae music is my passion, and documenting and preserving its rich history is my goal. The project that I'm working on is a multimedia Reggae Report archive. And why is this archive important? It's important because Reggae Report was more than just a magazine. It contributed to the rise of reggae music from Kingston's trench town to worldwide recognition. From Bob Marley and Bunny Whaler to Barris Hammond and Buju Banton, Reggae Report brought you closer to the stars. Reggae Report, from the stage to the page. Yeah, man. We interviewed and reported on popular reggae stars, musicians, songwriters, producers, and industry leaders. We introduced new artists, many blazing the reggae trail today. We traced and documented reggae's history and roots and consistently brought you the best in inspirational photographs, both on stage and backstage. Reggae music is just over 40 years old. And this year, I celebrate 30 years within the reggae music business. My story begins on May 11, 1981, when I started to work with Don Taylor, Bob Marley's manager, on the day that Bob went home to Zion. My love and passion for reggae music, especially Bob's music and message, led me to that job. And Bob's passing left me with the feeling that I had a much bigger job ahead. For 30 years, I've been actively committed to reggae's growth, exposure, and acceptance as a truly unique music form. I've made lifelong friends within the reggae community, artists, performers, musicians, producers, and their stories captured within the pages of Reggae Report are educational and engaging. Trust me. My life's mission is documented in the magazines published, stories written, interviews given, pictures taken, and shows produced. I am looking for your support to make it a reality. Each of the 124 Reggae Reports published is filled with stories, interviews, reviews, and photographs that captured Reggae's fascinating rise. There will also be exclusive taped interviews and a personal collection of posters, flyers, and other cool stuff. The Reggae Report archive is a rare and authentic source of Reggae history. It must be preserved for posterity and made accessible to the world. If you share my passion for reggae, then help support its history and be part of its future.